I'm going to join your squad, Dak Prescott or Kyler Murray. I'm picking Kyler Murray. I think he's more athletic. And I just think he's, I think he's just a better player in general. I think Dak Prescott sometimes relies too much on his running game most of the time and doesn't really make that many big plays at the end of the game. I've, I've seen Kyler Murray make really big plays before, so I don't really know if I trust Dak Prescott the same I do Kyler Murray. Today's game, Chiefs versus Bengals. This game's honestly going to decide a lot. The Bengals win, they're going to win the AFC North. But if the Chiefs win, they clinch the number one seed. So I think that the Chiefs are going to win. I think it's going. This game's going to mean a lot at the like the really end of the season. So I feel like this game's going to come down the wire, maybe by a field goal, something like that. It's going to be very close. On the Cardinals versus the Cowboys, which in my opinion. I think this game, I think the Cowboys are actually going to win this game. They're going to use a lot of their running game, run the ball a lot. The Cardinals have kind of been on a downward spiral after losing to the Lions, so I don't really know how good they're going to fare against the Cowboys. And their defense has definitely been improving lately. I think Micah Parsons is going to have a good game, and I think that the Cowboys, I think they're going to keep it close. It's going to be like 35-28 to 28 at the final score, the Cowboys winning it. But I think Kyler Murray is also going to have a good game, though. Las Vegas Raiders versus Indianapolis Colts. For the Colts, I think this is really a must win. The Titans have a chance of getting the AFC South and winning it, which I think if the Colts win this, they have a very good chance of taking them out and winning that spot. And the Raiders, they've kind of been on downward path lately, so I think Indianapolis is going to throw the ball a lot and run the ball, obviously, because Jonathan Taylor, I think they're going to throw the ball a lot to Pittman and to T.Y. Hill in most of the game. I think Carson Wentz is going to be okay, and I think that a lot of the receivers are going to be very good this game. What do you guys think about this game? One quarterback to start your franchise with, Mac Jones or Trevor Lawrence? I think I have to pick Mac Jones on this one for right now, just because he's been playing better so far, but it's going to be hard to say at the end of the career. Obviously, it's going to be recency bias on how we pick these people. Trevor Lawrence, I feel like, has a different chance of becoming better Mac Jones in the NFL, and... Trevor Lawrence isn't hiding around. I don't know. I feel like Matt Jones sometimes, the Patriots' offense doesn't really allow him to pass that much. Look at the Bills game. Every time he passes a high volume of times, they don't really win. So it seems like they're kind of hiding him around the running game or something like that. So I think that might be a main problem of why, of what's happening with Matt Jones. Packers versus the Vikings on Sunday Night Football. I picked the Packers to win this one. Kirk Cousins is out, so maybe if he would have not been out, it would have been a different effect, but... The Packers are pretty much a run all over them and throw the ball a lot. So I think that the Packers are going to win. And I think it's not going to be that close of a game.